Hi, welcome to The Peaceful Home. Today is kind of a part two on plants. And the first part covered all the different plants I have in my home, how to care for them, why I choose extremely low maintenance plants. And this is going to be more of a, what do we do with the plants? What do we put them in? And where do we put them in our home? How do we use them to decorate? I'm going to talk about six options for containers. And then I'm going to jump right in to 10 places that you can put plants in your home. And I will end with just some footage of plants in my home, how I use them, where they're located. I'm also going to show you my daughter and son-in-law's room when they lived here during covid they just had a beautiful plant sanctuary and also my friend mary lou has some beautiful plants and she kind of uses them as a collection on her mantle and hearth as i looked throughout my home at all of the containers i can say that probably 90 percent of them were thrifted the exceptions would be these little white pots that are very inexpensive at ikea and I believe I got this at Marshall's. Other than that, everything has been thrifted. So number one, easy and obvious ceramic pots. You can thrift these and then you can spray paint them. You can do um, a baking soda stoneware um, look. And that's a DIY. I will link the video below. I did this for a lamp and also for this little black pot. And it's just so easy. You can transform any kind of glass or ceramic container using this technique. You can also easily spray paint containers from the thrift store and even do tape off and do a portion in another color. Number two is terrariums. You can get actual terrariums. You can even use lanterns. You can use fish bowls or any type of glass container that's open on the top. Number three would be shallow containers. Um, you can see those on my Easter table video. I will link that below as well, where I used shallow bowls. You can use dough bowls, um, low baskets, and create beautiful planting arrangements. Number four is under glass, and that would be a cloche or some type of dome that you can put over a plate, a pedestal, a wood block. Number five would be galvanized metal. You can get buckets at yard sales, thrift stores, the rustier the better. You can even buy brand new ones that are very inexpensive and you can age and distress them to get the look that you want. And number six, baskets. Again, thrifted baskets are the way to go. You can find so many options. This is one of my favorites. It actually has a hole in it, which is why I got such a great deal on it, but I just turned that to the back. You can also paint baskets like the one that I showed you from Marshalls. Um, you can paint the whole thing or a section of them. You can whitewash them, dry brush them. Again, tons of options, and they all make your plants look amazing without breaking the bank. I'm gonna go through really quick all the places you can put plants, and I've got notes to keep track. So number one, on shelves, especially like bookshelves. Number two, in trays. Number three, on tables or counters, any type of surface. Number four, plant stands. Five, ladders. Number six, stools and chairs. Number seven, ledges and window sills. Number eight, a hearth. Nine, mantle. And 10, hanging. Let's take a look at how I have put plants in almost all of these spots.
I want to show you my daughter and son-in-law's room. They just had one bedroom with us when they had to move from out of state due to COVID. This was in the initial lockdown and they were here for a couple of months and really everything they owned fit in their car. They drove over here. Plants had a very high priority and they brought all of these from Nashville. I just love this space. I think it is beautiful. It feels fresh. It feels alive. Here's the footage of my dear friend, Mary Lou, her home where she has plants that are just so beautiful. She realized a while ago that rather than cut flowers, she would much prefer plants and she displays them beautifully in her home. I wanted to show you one of my best tips for displaying plants in pots. A lot of times when you go to put a plant in, like if I were to drop this in, it sank all the way to the bottom. It's now pushing on the plant and it's going to damage it. So I'm going to very gently pull it out, get, get the pot back in here. So what I do is I use a filler piece in the bottom. The best thing is to use lids from containers. This is from peanut butter. This is from orange juice. Um, if I try the peanut butter one, I have a feeling it's still going to be a little too low. So let me try the orange juice one and then drop this right on top. And that is perfect. It holds it up just enough that you don't see the plastic pot inside and it doesn't damage the plant at all. I hope that you don't feel any pressure to go get plants or spend a lot of money or have more to take care of than what you already have. But if you are inspired to start a plant journey or add to the collection you already have, I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and I would love to hear your comments on your favorite way to arrange your plants. You can always email me photos, questions, before and afters at TeresaElling at gmail.com. Thanks so much for joining me today on The Peaceful Home.